Hey guys, so today we're going to be learning how to make this engraved comb. First thing we're going to do is create a sketch. We're going to create a fit point spline. Place your first point seven centimeters below the origin. Your next point will be right here, four centimeters to the right and one down. Then two to the right and two up. Then go 12 centimeters up. Again, two up and two to the left and finally, four to the left and one down. Press enter. Now we're going to zoom in on the spline endpoints. We're going to adjust each endpoint 0.3 centimeters up. Now we're going to create some lines. Let's go to the line tool. Drag for 0.2 centimeters. Your next line will be four centimeters to the right. Next, create a line straight up that is 14.2 centimeters long. Then, create another line starting at that endpoint, 4 centimeters straight across. And finally, one more 0.2 centimeter line. This will create an enclosed shape. Now, finish the sketch. Next, we're going to extrude the shape for 0.5 centimeters. Then we're going to fillet these two edges by 0.25 centimeters. Then create the same fillet for these four edges. Next, you're going to create a 0.1 centimeter fillet for these two edges right here. And again, a 0.1 centimeter fillet for this edge and this edge. Next, you're going to create a sketch using this as your plane. Zoom in, then create a circle with a center 0.4 centimeters away from the edge of the fillet. The diameter of this circle will be 0.3 centimeters. Next, you're going to construct an offset plane using the circle you just created as your original. It will be offset by 3.25 centimeters. Then, create a sketch using that plane as your surface. Create another circle with the same center point this time with a radius of 0.2 centimeters. Now we are going to use a function known as a loft. For the profiles, select the two circles you just created. It will create a shape that provides a smooth transition between these two. Next, you're going to select these three edges. Then create another fillet. This one will be 0.1 centimeters. Now we're going to create a rectangular pattern. For objects, select the fillet command you just did and the loft command. It'll ask you to select a direction. We only have to extend this in one direction, so we are just going to select any line that is parallel to the direction we would like to go. Through distance, put in negative 13.6 centimeters. For your quantity, put 30. Here is the main body of your comb. Now we just need to engrave. To do this, create a sketch and select the top surface as your work plane. Rotate it so you're facing the correct direction. Now we are going to go to create text. You can pick anywhere on the comb you want to put your text. I'm just going to place mine here. Next, type in whatever you want to put. I'm just going to put my initials. You can see that my text is in the wrong direction, so I'm going to go down to angle and change this to 270 degrees. You can also change your font if you'd like. There are plenty of cool ones here. It may be helpful to try to select a thicker font 
since that will show up better once we print this. You can also change the height of your text. If you want it higher, change the height from 1 cm to 2 or smaller, you can do something like 0.75 cm. You can also move around your text to wherever you want. Finally, we're going to extrude one last time. It will automatically select this profile, however we do not want this. So we're going to X out of that and instead select our text as the profile to extrude. We're going to extrude negative 0.05 centimeters. As you can see, this is now engraved. And this is your final engraved comb. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope to see you again.